Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I'm going to give you a warning up front. I may have to put my glasses on, and if I do, it's going to have a huge reflection. But I'll try to get through this without using my glasses. Um, <clears throat> here lately, I've posted some videos about the Donald Trump prophecy. You know, The latest one I did, I said, I cannot uh, take it. It's kind of like mixing oil with water to me. I say that, for the most part, on a spiritual level. Not, I'm not talking about a physical where I can just definitely just nail problems with the prophecies and stuff like that although I am working on another video to do so <laughs> but I'm just saying having uh, gone through the experiences that I've gone through for the length of time that I've gone through um, there's certain things that I just know I can accept and then there's certain things that just throw up a red flag and I, I cannot accept them uh, the Donald Trump prophecy being one of those and having said that I'm going to say um, I'm not saying Donald Trump will never be president. I'm not saying that he won't be elected or anything like that. I am merely saying <clears throat> I've been shown something different. And when I listen to those prophecies, it conflicts with the spirit within me or whatever. So I, I, I just can't embrace those prophecies. Um, there, there may be a time if Trump were to be elected that at some point in the future he does take over as president uh, but I've been shown things that are going to happen from um, from our current president that haven't happened yet another thing uh, Ray had a prophecy that he, he Obama was uh, elected president of the United States to punish the United States um, from what I've seen all the punishment from this current president is not over and from what I've seen, it, it can't all be accomplished in the time left. So, uh, having considered these things, and, and, and I take things serious, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to read to you how serious I do take things. Um, I'm going to share with you now a dream. And this dream is a dream that I had the night after I will say I prayed a prayer, but I actually wrote a letter to God. You can kind of consider it like how David would write a psalm. He um, <clears throat> he wrote a psalm, which was a prayer, and, and that's what I did. So <clears throat> I want to, first of all, just give you the dream. And the dream that I had, um, it was on 9-18 in the early morning. 9-17 is when I wrote this prayer. Uh, and the prayer, I titled the prayer, um, A prayer to not be deceived. That's what I titled it. Uh, but here's what I saw in the dream following going to sleep and having written that prayer. Um, I saw bombs exploding in a city. Now, when I saw this, there was multiple locations within the city to where it would it pretty much put everybody in the city on a high state of alert, similar to the one you see, uh, maybe seen in uh, New York here recently. And I think this was the same night. As a New York thing went down, <clears throat> but those bonds would be all around, um, and then there was a certain amount of time given to people of the city that they had to return to their homes. So you might could say there was martial law uh, interact in, enacted, and they had everybody go to your house. But in this particular one, buses were used to take people from wherever they were back to their house. I saw buses going everywhere. Matter of fact, I saw one double-decker bus. Um, and then I saw one bus that had actually been hit by a bomb. When I say a bomb, I'm not talking about a bomb that fell from an aircraft. I'm talking about a bomb that was planted, a bomb that a man went to and physically put there. There's been another time <clears throat> in my uh, dreams I saw somebody uh, attach a bomb, an explosive device, to a pipe under the Hudson River near New York, Manhattan, between Manhattan and Queens. If you look and see the Manhattan and Queens Bridge, you'll see, uh, I believe it was this bomb was just north of it. There's a pipeline that I saw in a dream. I, I don't know what it is in real life, but I saw it explode. Um, I wrote here, white buses were used to transport people during that time. I did see one white bus that had been uh, damage due to an explosion. Then I went online and 
I found where New York City had recently uh, purchased a double-decker bus, and they're doing a test on a double-decker bus. Now, I saw the bus in the on the website that they're showing a double-decker bus. It's not what I saw in the dream, but it was a double-decker bus. <clears throat> now, I share that to say that right there is consistent with what I've been getting from the Lord since 2011. Um, I, I, I've not been uh, getting sweetness. I've been getting... Uh, things are going on. Now realize I had this particular dream uh, following this letter or psalm or prayer that I wrote to the Lord about, Lord, don't let me be deceived. And I'm going to read that. Hope that didn't gross you out. Sometimes I become conscious of things after I do them. Uh, here's how it reads. <clears throat> and I haven't even reread this yet, so I may have written wrong, but I'll do the best I can. Um, prayer to not be deceived, 9, 17, 16, that's the date. Lord, I've been unable to believe the prophecies about Donald Trump. Uh, I've put out the video of Sadhu with the emphasis that he was shown not to share, and he did share. <clears throat> I've also put a video out of myself saying I can't accept the Donald Trump prophecy. Now I'm listening to Sid Roth, Paul Bigley, uh, Kim Clement, Clement, and the Rick Wiles show with the firefighter videos. I've even heard where the firefighter said uh, they will spend millions to keep him in office or to have him reelected. That would have made more sense for the 2012 election than for the 2016 election. Now this is progressive. I haven't released, released the video yet, so don't jump all over that one. Um, I've done these things, and that's that. These things I just read about on what I think is discernment, and perhaps the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now this isn't a statement to you. This is a statement to God. So. <clears throat> I'm also considering a dream about we will know in September, or at least by January. From that I felt as if you were saying something will happen here in September that would lead people to start believing me, or at least uh, by January. <clears throat> Lord, do I, I do not want to be deceived. I want you to help me prevent putting a spin on things. I don't want either. Uh, I feel certain of what you have shown me. I want to do your will. Preserve me, Lord. Don't let me fall on this or anything else. Don't let me fail on this or anything else. Help me to be straight, Byron. And help me to be straight. Just help me to keep, keep things right in your, in your sight. So... Uh, that was a dream that I had on 918. That was the morning of 918. Uh, and that dream came following having written this letter to the Lord uh, about don't let me be deceived on Donald Trump. I'm not saying these two are connected. I'm saying that one followed the other. Thank you.